Say yes to new beginnings. Yes. Say yes to new beginnings. Yes. Say yes to. So, what's the greatest thing you know that broadcasting has done for you? It's made me travel the world. Broadcasting, broadcast journalism has made me travel the world. Um, the first time I traveled, it was for a fellowship. That's the first time I, I traveled to England. Um, and then I've traveled Europe. I've traveled a bit in Africa as well. Um, that's what it does to you when you know what you're doing and you're benchmarking your work um, on global standards, um, world-class work. You will meet with world-class people and you will travel the world. I like that bit about it and okay. it thrills me to no end. All right. What, what, what has it not done for you? What has this profession not done for you? What has it not done for me? Oh. Okay, it hasn't made me a wealthy person. <laughs> <laughs> it hasn't made me a wealthy person. Okay. Okay. So what, what, what makes a good uh, broadcaster, a journalist? Oh, oh. okay. What makes a good broadcast journalist? As if that's not fair. That's a that's a well I'm a Rotarian, so we usually say is it fair to all concerned? So okay, it's, not fair. Fair. it's not fair. <laughs> this is like asking me to do a session on um, what makes you a good journalist, um, a broadcast journalist. First you're a broadcast journalist because you work with either radio or TV. Um the broad your your broad broadcasting means you're talking to a lot of people, you're not narrow casting. Um this is what sometimes broadcasting is, you're broadcasting, you're um speaking to a lot of people at the same time. Um it means that um Kai, this is not I don't even know where to start because it's pretty long. First, you need to learn how to be a journalist. A journalist curates new stories. A journalist can be a reporter, you can be an editor, um, you can be a news writer, you can be a news reader. People think that when you're a newscaster, you're not a journalist. Nowadays, you also report the news as a newscaster. Um, it means you know the five W's of news gathering. You know the who, what, where, how, when, uh, what is it again? The five W's and H. Um, and you can put them together in a story. And you can decide what is fake news and what is not fake news. When we started, there was nothing like fake news. But as the world um, got wiser, we started dealing with misinformation, disinformation, fake news. So a journalist today would need to be able to discern what is fake and what is good. Um, generally, that's what it is. Uh, what is the commonest mistake that most uh, broadcaster journalists make? The commonest? When you say mistake, do you mean um, operational mistakes or? It's you your call. It's when your call. You mistake, okay, this is one of my pet peeves. Like, you are going to interview someone. You should know the name of the person you're interviewing. But no, you don't. And then you start the interview with me, we meet you. It's annoying. That may we meet you is so not a good thing. You could say, all right, I know you to be Funke Treasure, but can you give us your full names? So, so you, I'm meeting you somewhere. You're not just saying, may we meet you. How do you mean? If you don't know me, why are you interviewing me? So we teach our young reporters to not do that. 
when they're on the field. Another one is being on air and not knowing the next thing to do. Being behind the radio, uh, the mic in a radio station doesn't mean that you just yak. You do not just talk, 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 talk. There has to be some structure to what you're saying. What we find nowadays is that um, our young ones think it's a platform to show off their accents. It's a platform to show off their voices. And so they're not paying attention. They do not generally pay attention to what they say. If you're playing music as a presenter, you have 30 minutes in your hands to play with. It's a free space, right? Or maybe you're even presenting a program. How many songs can you present within, can you play within that 30 minutes, maximum five? <laughs> five, five times, um, five times uh, three, that's 15 minutes of songs. If you're playing at three minutes per song, what we see that our young people want to play from pali to pali, as we say, you play from beginning to the end. As a presenter, you necessarily, unless you're, you're playing to fill time, you should play just about three minutes of the song because you're telling a story with, what you, with, with your time behind the mic. So, for instance, you want to talk about, as you give me a, give me, give me a topic, give me a topic. Journalism. Hey, Azu, how do you play music for journalism? <laughs> Give me another word. Abel Kuta. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's say you want to 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 um, say something about hope. Hope. Do not lose hope. Okay, and you've already queued. Um, this song don't worry be happy okay so you play that you're not going to play from the beginning to the end you probably play from the beginning to a point where you can take maybe a word or two a phrase or two from what he's saying and then you lower it and then you begin to you know speak to one person you don't do listeners you just speak to to one person you don't even say listeners or listener i don't know why people do that it's so wrong no you don't have to say listen you're talking to azu as i'm talking to azu i'm talking to one person on radio per time you're not talking to the multitude okay so you speak to that then you finish what you're saying and you've already queued something else and you say next is um another song and you plays and like that you tell a story but that's not what we have today you probably play don't worry be happy the next thing you're playing uh uh one bang 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 kind of thing so your rhythm the the tempo is not balanced so i find that happening a lot on radio so you have scattered um okay. tempo All right to playing and it's not pleasant radio. I can go on and on and on, but it has to be that we're talking about this. So right now you're making me jump here to here to here. Yeah.